today we're going to tackle a storefront door. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to be non-destructive on this. Uh, say we had a water flow or a smell of smoke or something like that, that we didn't want to go in and tear it up. Uh, we can see that the lock cylinder is already pulled, so we're going to say for some reason we didn't have access to the lock, didn't have access to the key holder. By, by sizing up this door, we can uh, tear apart this door and be non-destructive with it and actually put it back together. If you see the way these hinges are set, there's a hinge in the top and in the bottom. There's two pins inside of them. Uh, the bottom one is always the one we're going to attack because as it gets older, dirt builds up inside of the little groove that that pin sets in and which is ultimately going to raise the pin up even higher, making it easier for us to pop and get off. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually remove this door by removing it from its hinges and keeping the lock throat and then we're going to take the door completely off and show you that you can enter this structure without tearing the door apart. So I'm going to use my, my two helpers. First thing we're going to do is obviously you've already come up and checked and made sure it was locked and everything. We don't have access to it for whatever reason. By taking the ads in and sliding it in between the groove, sometimes it needs a little force and you can tap it in with your foot or you can take an ax and tap it. And what's going to happen is he's going to, they're going to pry up. So they're going to pry back here, lifting the door itself. And as they lift the door, the man with the ax is going to pull the door back by tapping the halogen bar. Slide it back in. You can see the door starting to come, almost off. One more pull and it'll be out. One more, keep coming. All right, you feel the door drop. And now what we have to do is we have to, all you gotta do is put your tool in behind it and we'll slowly pry the door out a little bit. There you go and the drop from its top hinge. Now we can remove that door completely and we have clear access into here. If for some reason there was a fire, we wanted to completely remove this door without opening it, obviously you could pop the other hinges and be good to go. So we just made it inside of this door uh, without doing anything. If we wanted to replace the door, even with it already locked, it's very easy to do so as you just slide the cylinder back into, slide it back into its groove or its mortise and then we just work our hinges back in place. Okay, so now we took the door off and we're going to show you the components of the door where we talked about the hinges. The door is laying on its side. This is actually the bottom hinge and you can see the groove in it. Sometimes there's a pin here, but on this one there's a groove. And then obviously you saw the pin itself that, that sets inside of this, this little groove or this cup. What happens is that's what builds up with dirt around that pin and ultimately pushes this door up and uh, takes up that space so it makes it easier for us to pop. If you look at the door itself, if you look at the top hinge, the top hinge has a hole where the bottom one has a pin. So when you put this door back together, or when you put it back in place, obviously we gotta slide that pin in, we gotta set our mortise, our lock, our throw back in our lock, and then we gotta slide it back on the bottom pin is how we do it. So the reverse way that we put it on, or took it off, is how we put it back on. 